Hello everyone, welcome back to the Mimic PC Flux tutorial series. In this video, we're going to dive deep into some advanced features of Flux, including image to image generation, how to use in painting in Flux, integrating Flux LoRa and IP adapter, and then a detailed look at Flux control net. Before we get started, it's important to note that this video builds on the basics we covered in tutorial one. So if you haven't watched that yet, make sure to check it out first. It will help you understand how to set up Flux basic workflow in Mimic PC and use its features. Now let's see how to use image to image in Flux. This is a basic Flux workflow. So let's convert this into image to image to generation. Begin by removing the empty latent image node. To add a node, simply click twice in the clip space. A search bar will appear. Look for the load image node and add it. Again, click twice search and add VA encode. Now connect all wires to their relevant nodes. Finally, we have created the Flux image to image workflow in Mimic PC. Now that we've completed our setup, let's create an image using it. Click here to upload your reference image. Once the upload is done, enter a positive and negative prompt in the following boxes. We'll change the CFG value to 1 and the scheduler to simple. It's also important to reduce the denoise value to around 0.8. Finally, click Q prompt to start creating your image. So let's fast forward the generation process. And as you can see, our image has been generated. Here is a comparison of the before and after results. Now let's look at how to use in painting in Flux. It's important to add one necessary node within Comfy UI. Go to Manager and select Custom Nodes Manager. Download the Comfy UI Impact Pack by clicking the Install button. Once installed, relaunch the Comfy UI app. So to convert the previous workflow into inpainting, start by removing the VE encode, Flux Guidance, and K Sampler nodes. Click twice in the clip space. Search for Flux Sampler parameter and add the node. Again, click twice, search, and add Differential Diffusion. Next, look for Gaussian Blur Mask and add it. Finally, add the inpaint model conditioning node to your clip space. Now connect all of those wires to their respective nodes. Finally, we have created the Flux in painting workflow. Right click your uploaded reference image and click open in mask editor. The bottom right corner contains settings that you can use. So let's just paint over the dress. Once completed, click save to node. Enter a positive and negative prompt in the following boxes and click the Q prompt. Let us fast forward the generation process. And as you can see, our generated image has completely different dress. Here is a comparison of the before and after results. Now let's create an image using LoRa. This is a basic flux workflow. Simply search for LoRa loader and add the node in the clip space. You can select a LoRa model from here. Now connect all wires to their relevant nodes. Finally, we have created the flux LoRa workflow in Mimic PC. Enter a positive and negative prompt in the following boxes. I will change the width and height to 1024 pixels. Change CFG value to one and scheduler to simple. Finally, click Q prompt. Let's speed up the generation process, and as you can see, our generated image is ready. Now, before we use the IP adapter, it is important to install the model and clip vision first. You can download the Flux IP adapter model using Hugging Face. To download it, click here. Upload it into the IP adapter folder located in the Xlabs folder. Next is a clip vision available in Hugging Face. Click here to download Model Safe Tensor. Upload them to the clip vision folder located in the models folder. Now let's create its workflow. We will once again modify the basic Flux workflow. Start by removing the case sampler and Flux guidance nodes. Click twice in the clip space. Look for Xlab sampler and add the node. Again, click twice search and add load image node. Next, search for load Flux IP adapter and add it. Finally, add the apply Flux IP adapter node to your clip space. Now connect all of those wires to their respective nodes. Click here to upload your reference image. Select model safe tensor as your clip vision. Change the strength model to one. Enter a positive and negative prompt in the following boxes. It's also important to increase the steps to around 50. Change the time steps value to 1 and the true GS value to 3.5. And click the Q prompt. So, let's skip the generating process and see a side-by-side -side comparison of the images. See, the image looks perfect. Let's now add LoRa to the IP adapter. Simply search for LoRa loader and add the node in the clip space. You can select a LoRa model from here. Lastly, connect all wires to their relevant nodes and we have created the integrated Flux, LoRa, and IP adapter workflow. Enter a positive and negative prompt in the following boxes and click the Q prompt. So let's skip the generating process and see a side-by-side -side comparison of the images. As you can see, LoRa adds extra detail to the image. Now let's look at how to use ControlNet in Flux. In our previous tutorial, we downloaded three control nets. Those were Head, Canny, and Depth. I'll show you how to create a separate workflow for each of them. We will once again modify the basic Flux workflow. Start by removing the case sampler, Flux guidance, and positive prompt nodes. Look for clip text encode Flux and add this node. Again, click twice search and add Xlabs sampler. 
Next, search for load image and add it to your clip space. Look for load flux control net and add it. Look for head soft edge lines and add it. Search and add apply flux control net. Finally, add a preview image node in your clip space. Now connect all of those wires to their respective nodes. Click here to upload your reference image. Remember that the control net path and the node added below must match. For example, I have a head node here, therefore I'll select a head control net path. Change the strength model to 0.7. I'll change the width and height to 1024 pixels. Enter a positive and negative prompt in the following boxes. Also, it's recommended to increase your steps to around 25. Change the time steps value to 1 and true GS value to 3.5. Finally, we have created the flux head workflow. Now we can convert this head workflow into a depth workflow just by removing head soft edge lines node and add a Midas depth map node. Let's connect all the wires and change the control net path to depth. And so we have created the flux depth workflow. We can now convert this depth workflow into a canny workflow. Simply replace the Midas depth map node with a canny edge node. Let's connect all the wires, change the control net path to canny. And so we have created the flux canny workflow. Let us create an image using the canny workflow. I have already entered the prompt and reference image. I will simply click the Q prompt button. So let's skip the generating process. As you can see, our image has been generated, including a preview of the pre-processor. Here is a comparison of the before and after results. Now, let's add the LoRa and IP adapter to our control net workflow. Click twice in the clip space. Search for load flux IP adapter and add the node. Again, click twice, search and add LoRa loader. Finally, add the apply flux IP adapter node to your clip space. Connect all of the wires to their relevant nodes. And so we have created a flux workflow containing LoRa IP adapter and control net. Increase the steps to around 50 and click Q prompt. So let's skip the generating process and see a side-by-side -side comparison of the images. As you can see, LoRa adds extra detail to the image. That wraps up our tutorial on flux advanced features. Today we explored image to image generation for adding detail and realism. Used flux in painting to improve specific areas integrated LoRa and the IP adapter for more control, and used ControlNet to generate complex images. With these powerful tools built into Mimic PC, you're ready to take your image creation to the next level. Thanks for watching this Mimic PC tutorial. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more AI tips. Stay tuned for more tutorials and creative tips. See you in the next video.